Hi everyone! In this super simple Scratch tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a true-false game that you can use either to use with your student or to study on your own if you're a student. So if you're ready, let's get started! Alright, let's begin by removing the cat and I'm going to add a backdrop. I'm going to pick chalkboard <clears throat> and a sprite. It should be people. Let's try with Devin. Okay, let's place it here and let's begin by going to events and when green flag clicked. First of all, we're gonna make Devin say the instructions of our game. So we're gonna say something like, hello, I'm your science teacher. And in a new uh, speech bubble, let's say, say true, could be T, or false. Okay, um, now you should try and check if this time is enough to, to read the text. I think it is, but that's up to you. And uh, we're gonna go to sensing and pick this block ask and wait and pay attention to this uh, little block whenever we, cl we click on ask and wait uh, it waits until the, the user types in a response something like Diego now Diego that word is uh, saved in here if I click as you see you will have Diego uh, if I uh, add here true in answer now we have the T the T of true so uh, let's place it here and the first sentence is gonna be mammals use their gills to breathe we know this sentence is false mammals use lungs and not uh, gills so uh, after the user has has answered we're going to use an if else block and in operator you're gonna pick this one the equal so after the user has answered if the answer the user has typed in is letter F or false which is correct that's the correct answer uh, our character is gonna say something like good job or well done or whatever you want else if the answer is different from letter F, our teacher is gonna say, um, you need to review. Okay, let's try if it works. Mammals use their gills to breathe, that's false. And he says, good job. If the answer is different, for example, true, he says you need to review, so that's okay. But you might be wondering, and what happens if the, if the user answers false, the whole word, not only the letter F? What do you think that's gonna happen? Look, if I type false, it says you need to review. Why? Because according to our uh, code, the only possible answer that will um, take us to good job is letter F. If we want to add some other possible answers, uh, which it's not necessary if we leave the instructions clear, uh, could be by going to operators, taking an OR here, we add it, and now we duplicate this, we place it here, and now two possible answers uh, will take us to good job, F and false. And you could even add more. I mean, you take another operator, you place this here, and you have here space for another possible answer, but I don't think that's necessary, okay? All right, let's continue. So uh, once we have this, now it's very easy. With a right click, we can duplicate. We place this here, and now we uh, type another sentence. For example, most mammals are Vivipers. I say most mammals because the platypus is not a viviparous animal, it's a vipers. Uh, so in this case, the sentence is true, 
T and true and if you feel like you can change this this feedback but that's something irrelevant and this way you could continue adding more and more sentences okay all right uh, I don't think it is necessary to show you that it works because it does so we're going to add uh, a counter here like a score to count our right answers and wrong answers whenever we want scratch to memorize some information we need to use variables they are here okay so I'm gonna make a variable well there's one created and it's hidden but I'm gonna I'm not gonna use it uh, in fact we can right click and delete it and I'm gonna make a variable called right answers and another one called wrong answers sorry right click rename answers well as you see they are here you can replace them and you can even change this but in this case I need to to use normal readout so that you see which ones are right answers and which ones are wrong uh, what do we want to do well it's super simple whenever uh, our teacher says good job which means that our answer was correct we're going to change right answers by one and whenever it is wrong we're gonna change wrong answers by one and the same in the second one okay so as you see if you want if you're gonna make like 10 uh, 10 questions or 10 sentences it's better that you add these in the first one and then you duplicate after having added this because if not you will have to to go one by one adding the the block of the variable okay uh, this is wrong answers so that's okay so let's try if that works uh, you're going to see that it works but there's something else that we need to do all right let's begin hello i'm your science teacher say true or false mammals use their gills to breathe i'm gonna say that is true he says you need to review and we have one wrong answer and most mammals are viviparous that's true and we'll get a right answer uh, but what happens if we want to play this game again uh, when I click on green flag uh, I'm not resetting this score because I haven't told scratch or my code to uh, set this number to zero at the beginning of the game so that's something I need to do let's go here and when green flag clicked at the very beginning of my game I need to set right answers to zero and wrong answers to zero as well and that uh, that way when I want to play when I click on green flag we have two zeros here and I can I can play my game as many times as I want so uh, these are the basics of the game now you can add many things for example I'm gonna give you an idea uh, and my proposal is this uh, we're going to go to control and at the end of the game depending on the number of right answers i'm gonna receive a different feedback from my teacher uh, as i only have two two questions i'm going to use this but you could use greater than or lower than well that's up to you i'm gonna use this and i'm gonna say let's go to variables right answers and if right answers at the end of the game as you see equals two which means i've done it all good uh, my teacher is gonna say something like congratulations and now we can duplicate this and for example we can say if right answers equals one which means one right answer one wrong answer he could say not bad and oops sorry let's duplicate again in the case we have no right answers he's gonna say uh, you need to study much more let's try i'm gonna get two right answers that's false i'm gonna type in true good job and now he says congratulations so this is the end of the tutorial as you see it is very simple you can do it very fast and you won't have any difficulties and if you do, message me, leave a comment or whatever you want, okay? See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.